February 8th, EOQ practice problem one for circles. Uh, given a circle, we have from the center to its outer edge a length of seven centimeters. The terminology for the length from middle of the circle, the center of the circle to its outer edge is called the radius. So when we come down here to solve these four problems, the radius is given. We can go ahead and fill this in as seven centimeters. So that was given. It's not always given, but in this case it was given. Now understand that there, a radius can go from the center to any spot on a circle. So if I were to dash out to here, that also is seven centimeters because it's the distance from center to the outer edge of a circle. Well, if I went in the complete opposite direction of this radius, like that, that would also be a radius of 7 centimeters. It just so happens that diameter is the distance from one side of the circle to another that must pass through its center. If you notice, we have a radius plus a radius, 7 plus 7, so the diameter is simply... 2 times the radius, or 2 times 7, which is 14 centimeters. So just be aware, if you were given a diameter, you would cut this in half to get the radius. Okay, so double, cut in half. Double, cut in half. So that's how you find radius and diameter. Circumference and area. Circumference says, if I were to take a string, start and go all the way around the circle, what would the distance be all the way around the circle? So the formula is circumference equals 2 pi r. 2 times pi times the radius. So when solving this, I have 2 times pi times the radius. The radius is 7. So 2 times pi times 7. Well, when you multiply, you can change order. So 2 times 7 times pi, which is 14 times pi. Sometimes they ask you to leave the answer in terms of pi. If they do, you stop right here. However, the directions here says round all answers to the nearest hundredth. So I'm going to take my calculator and I'm going to type in 14 times and then to get to pi. Pi is this blue symbol right here. So I have to hit the second arrow button. So 14 times pi says round to the nearest hundredth. So there are a hundred pennies in a hole, so hundredths is the second decimal place. 43.98. The two small, so it stays 98. 43.98. 43.98 centimeters because it's a distance. Area. To find the area, it is pi r squared. So the radius is 7. So this is pi 7 squared. Remember, a, an exponent only acts on its nearest object. So this really says pi times 7 times 7. 7 times 7 is 49. So 49 times pi. Again, if it were asking you to leave in terms of pi, you would leave it just like this. However, our directions say to round all answers to the nearest hundredth. So, take my calculator. I'm going to go 49 times pi. And I'm going to round to the nearest hundredth. Now, look at the difference. Here, it's 153.93. But look at the number behind the 3. It's an 8. 8's large, so we round this 3 to a 4. 153.93. 53.94. And because it's an area, this isn't centimeters, it's square centimeters or centimeters squared. 
Okay, that is problem, practice problem one on Monday, February 8th.